Well, you know, he, he stayed under control, took great shots, as the whole team did. They just played with a lot of confidence yesterday, and that's hard to imagine when they had the kind of the year they had, but they really came to play. Here's the starting lineup for Literat. Same lineup as yesterday. Coupet, White, Lukic, Maric, and Monyong, who, by the way, yesterday had his 13th double-double. That's second in the country. He had 11 points, 14 rebounds for ULM. Speaking of double-doubles, Russell Harrison, the junior, picked up his third double-double in four games. Ozier, Howe, Nicholas, of course, the senior, all starting. It is senior day. Chris Efratui, Olin Aiden, and Josh Nicholas. All honor before the game. We'll see that it happened. Don Daly, Will Howard, and Vladimir Voyard Tadal is our officials. As we're ready to tip things off after yesterday, ULM picked up win number six. And this Little Rock team now moves to the five straight there, 10 and 12. Underway, Elijah Gonzalez with the basketball. Coach Bonnie, I'm ready to go for this one. ULM, a chance to sweep a, a doubleheader. You know, that, that's something they've been looking for all year long. And I think they got off to a great start. Now they just got to keep it up. That's tough. That's 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 an uncalled for turnover, really. You know, nobody was giving him a, an opportunity to, to make it himself available for him to pass to. He was just trying to get rid of it. The one and only Daryl Walker, head coach for Little Rock, his third season, reigning Sunbelt Coach of the Year. Played for three years under Eddie Sun in Arkansas, an All-American. And he uh, spent uh, time in the NBA, finished his career on that 93 Bulls team that won the world championship with Michael Jordan. Left-handed shot from Lukic is off the mark. And here comes ULM with the basketball. Josh Nicholas pulls up for three and hits. He's a streaky shooter, maybe the best shooter on the team. You know, he's very, very athletic. And again, it's like as most good shooters, if he gets his feet set, it's, it's, he can knock it down. You know, ULM trying to pack down the middle. Lukic misses that three in the corner. Little Rock wearing the white today, even though they're on the road. Second game of the two-game series. ULM in the gold. Yeah, yeah, they, oh. ULM had to keep that uh, uh, rebound alive and come out with it. Now he's looking to get that shot, and he, Nicholas is feeling it again. The senior on senior day, feeling it from outside. Josh Nicholas yesterday picked up 11 points on five of eight shooting. That's a great way to start off your uh, last home game at home. Maniang has it at the free throw line. See those hands just palming that basketball. Six foot ten, Maniang. Pull up three on the way for a Coupette, back wearing number zero today. Maniang trying to keep it alive, but Gonzalez comes up with it as Harrison crashes into Maric. Actually, no, that wasn't Harrison. That was uh, Effort Tui. Harrison finishes on the other end. Now, time called. Effort Tui is. He got tangled up coming out of, from those boards, and he went down and you know, he acts like he's either he twisted his ankle or knee. He's he's trying to walk it off right now. He's really wanting to play his senior year. I mean, his last home game for his senior year. Thomas Howell, who played a bunch of minutes yesterday, checks in for ULM. He played 21 minutes at eight points. And two steals. One thing that was interesting yesterday, even though ULM was great on the boards, you had 11 rebounds from Harrison, but effort two and how combined for only one rebound. And yeah, they were inside. But I think, I think what they were trying to do so much is to keep their man off the boards. Not so much go get the rebound, just don't let their man have it. And that just kind of opened it up for some other people. And Ozier is always in there picking up loose balls too. 6'10 on 6'7 there. Manyang with a sweet turnaround. He's on the board, so is Little Rock. Two and a half minutes into this ball game. You know, Mun Young is 6'10", but he's got a wingspan of about 7'2". He, he's just long and, and very athletic. Stays under control. Uh, never seems to get rattled. Great pass inside the Howe. And Howe finish it. Good defense by Marich. As here comes Little Rock. Down by six early. Driving in is Luke Keach and a late whistle called. And a foul will be called on ULM. Yeah, boy, Howe how thought he... Had that one blocked on top, but the official thought he hit him. Foul number 13 for the Warhawks, Thomas Howard. His first foul, first team foul. That, uh, you know, Howell just was trying to help out, stop that dribble penetration, and then just got called for the foul. And, of course, uh, Lukic knocks it down. Lukic, an 80% free throw shooter. Yesterday's game, he had 19 points, 14 of those coming in the first half. Five rebounds, three of 11, rather uh, six of 11. 
overall. 32 minutes of play yesterday. Lukic from Belgrade, Serbia, 6'7 sophomore. Makes them both. That's the lead in half now. It's 8-4. to four. You know, he's kind of deceptive. He, he's smaller than, than a lot of their players, so you don't realize he's 6'7". Ozier falls down on the baseline. They'll call a charge there. Looks like he was trying to plant and turn around and go back, but he just stumbled and fell. Head coach Keith Richard led the Warhawks to a CIT postseason appearance in 2018. 11 years now here at ULM as he's done a great job with this program this year maybe not the results they want but they're building three on the way for white off the mark no good Marich reaching over the top of gonzalez and a jump <laughs> ball is called yeah a lot of that well there's one of the fishes over there talking to the to the bench you know i guess they were on him about that being over his back but it, he went over his back to get it but he did have the ball Made away from the right side is good that time by Marich. Marich is just a different kind of player. Obviously, he has that European style of game. And obviously, you saw a lot of that yesterday from him. You know, and, and he's, he's got that great mid-range game, you know, which a lot of people don't have. Everybody's looking for the three. Three on the way is good for Kareem <laughs> Ozier. Hey, speaking of three, Ozier's got it going. ULM off to a good start from behind the three-point arc. Their third three. Manyang looking for that high-low. Puts it on the bounce. He, he, he's not a great creator. Ozier, unselfish play, looking for Nicholas. Almost was taken away. I think he thought he was giving up for a layup. He could have took the shot. And that's tough taking it in there among those <laughs> among those trees. Yeah, it's tough sledding down low on offense. Yesterday, of course, ULM shot well from outside. It finished 8 of 19. Out of bounds. It'll take us to our first media timeout. Good hustle by Gonzalez to force that ball out of bounds. Well, ULM on senior day. Josh on 3 of 3 from deep. The junior Ozier. 1 for 1. The senior Josh Nicholas 2 for 2. You know, they're making them count. You know, they, they want to make sure that they uh, they end their home career on a high note. They sure got off to a good start with it yesterday. That was a great move that <laughs> the Keith made to get open. Luke Keats with a reverse layup, his first bucket of the ball game. He ran out like he was going to the corner, and I think they went out to meet him, and he just d cut back real quick and uh, stopped and got it. What a fade there from Josh Nicholas. He has eight going back to Luke Keach. That was his second bucket. He has six points now. Two from the free throw line. They go into Maurice. They like taking advantage of this matchup with Howell. Goes up strong. Good defense by Howell. Manyang the rebound. It is swatted away by Josh Nicholas. Well, now Josh Nicholas could get up. But a three knocked down from Ben Coupet, who went scoreless yesterday. He had three assists. He played all 40 minutes, coach. That's his first bucket of the two-game series. Well, he was just missing his number. Yeah, they had him in number two yesterday, but he's back to his zero today. Or I asked why, you know, he's using a different number. He said, well, the manager forgot to pack it. <laughs> Whether that's true or not, always blame the manager. Yeah, that's, you know? that's right. Yeah, you never say I forgot it. The manager forgot it. Found that time was on Root Man Young, his first, team's first on Little Rock. Two-point ball game. How comes out to get it? Josh Nicholas off to a red-hot start. Three of three from the floor. Morency. It's Morency off the bench. Knocks down a long two. Yesterday, 14 points, six rebounds, three assists in 36 minutes. And the Morency gives him a little, little more size in there. Pull up. From White, no good. The transfer from SMU. Here comes Gonzalez. This is offense now. Harrison, good pump fake. Drives in, draws contact. No call there. Manyang the rebound. You know, they got to pull up. They're not going to be able to take it all the way in there. Coupet. <laughs> they wanted to travel on that <laughs> yeah. ULM bench. Jump ball called. It'll go back uh, towards ULM. Up by four. Well, he was sliding. I, I'm not, I don't think he had the ball. I don't think he had the ball while he was sliding. <laughs> yeah, that's a travel. Right there was uh, Vladimir Voyard to Dahl, our official. 
Checking out of the ball game is C.J. White. Into the ball game, 11, Marko Andric, another native of Belgrade, Serbia. And a foul away from the basketball, offensive foul on Russell Harrison. You know, it's tough, it's tough to get those offensive fouls. We know we, we mentioned that uh, in the other game, that you usually get your fouls on defense, not on offense. Harrison, two points and two rebounds. What a job Harrison did on the glass yesterday. Four offensive rebounds, his third double-double in his last four games. And he gives up a lot of, of look at that. He, he <laughs> man, uh, man Young just come at him that time. I don't know. He the official thought he bailed out on it. That's going to be on Harrison. They're going to get him for his second foul there. I'm. Let's see this one more time. Was Man Young? That could have been an offensive foul there. That's what I thought it was. It's a tough call against Russell Harris. It'll have to take a seat at the 13:30 mark. Yeah, that is that that is tough. I mean, he was guarding Man Young, and then he was rebounding. So now Luke Phillips is going to be in there helping out. Andrichu didn't play really yesterday. Another tie basketball. This will stay with Little Rock. Andrich didn't play any in yesterday's game as Marich comes back in. Admir Vesuvich in as well for Little Rock. Jumper from in the paint is good by C.J. White Jr. from Little Rock, transferred back home. Comes out of a great Parkview High School. Well, uh, White just got in there and got open and just, just knocked it down. I don't know. Uh, somebody got lost. He did a good job of getting open. Lawrence, he trying to get some separation from Andrich. Elijah Gonzalez, shot clock under 10. Guarded by White. Penetrates a block by 25, Marich. Let's, let's give him two seconds on the shot clock now. I mean, you get in there, but it's, it's, you've got to pull up before you get there because once you get in there, it's too late unless you're going to kick it back out. And it didn't look like there's many people helped that time, so he didn't have anybody to go with Nicholas it. Nicholas open, misses the jumper, though. Backside board by White. He got open and got the shot he was wanting. One of the five on the floor for Little Rock now, European players. As Marich runs over Thomas Howe, and he's called that's for the a, offensive foul. That's the first time we've seen that in two days. That one, he lowered his shoulder big time, yeah. yeah he swung that elbow. Saw that right arm extend. He's left-handed, so he loves to get the ball on that right block and go towards the middle. If he holds you off with that right arm, and then if you stiffen up and, and push back against him, he'll just curl. <laughs> Luke Phillips scraped the top of the arena with that three. And he's two for two in the last two days from long range. Lead back to five for the Warhawks. You know, he sets that screen instead of roll. Most people roll to the basket. He just steps out and, and he can knock it down as he's done uh, the last two days. But he's been doing it all year. Eastern Australia. We have a international flair to this ball game right now. Stay there for Marich. Man, I'll tell you what. He can do it with that soft touch, and then he can also pound it inside as well. You know, that's hard to guard when you pull up and shoot it out there. You take it inside and back you under the basket and shoot it with that little left hook. And see, has that mid-range game going right now. He has ULM's lead back to five. You know, ULM's done a great job yesterday and today of establishing himself offensively early in the game. But he's getting in position to go for that left hook again. ULM already eight for their first 12. Andrich in the corner for three, no. And Nicholas gets the deflection. We'll have the under 12 minute media timeout, the next whistle. Well, Andrich just got a hand on his hip. He's holding him out. He looks like your prototypical European player. Elijah Gonzalez pulls up, no. Scramble for the loose ball. Phillips comes away with it. And a second opportunity here for ULM. Well, they just did a good job. ULM's playing with a lot of confidence, and as well they should, especially after the way they played yesterday and, and was successful. So they've got a they got a lot of uh, going for them right now. Skip pass over here to Marinci. Four on the shot clock. Step back, three on the way. Off the back iron. And Marich comes away with a rebound. Marich's second rebound. He has two points. Andrich. 
Gets it to him. Yeah, he's, away. Yeah, he's going to always go with that left hand, but that's he, he's difficult to defend. Marich now starting to get going. He was 0 for his first two. In his last two buckets now, he has four career high or a season high, I should say, 24 yesterday. Phillips drives to the bucket and is fouled on the drive. You at least see Phillips uh, put the ball on the on the floor very often. <laughs> Not often. I thought he was going to dunk that one. Well, early on, Luke Phillips trying to sweep a, a doubleheader today against Little Rock. It's a great win, a 18-point victory over Little Rock. One of the biggest upsets so far this year in some belt play. You know, I guess Little Rock playing to get into the number two spot, and uh, so they, they're going to have to struggle now. They're going to be on the road again back in Louisiana uh, this weekend, and, and uh, it's going to be tough in uh, Lafayette. Phillips a couple of free throws, that high arching shot. He's from down under, but those uh, free throws, they go way up high. <laughs> They're way up there. He's knocked down a three, couple of free throws, five points for Luke Phillips, the redshirt sophomore. Dupont looking down low. This is Basovich. Right-handed hook is good. Tell you what, he's, he's kind of Maurice Light. Yes, he is. He is a pounder down low. He's, he's seven feet tall. There's not much light about him. <laughs> you, know, you, you start, you, you got to defend one's left hand and the other one's right hand, and they both of them just back you down under the basket. Seven foot senior. That's some big guys on this team. You have Mon Young, who has the longest wingspan on the team. Good move by Morenci. Can't get the floater to go. You know, when a six seven guy looks small, you know they got a big team. Three-point advantage right now for ULM. A chance for Little Rock to maybe tie on this possession. Looking down low for Basovic. He gets stripped away from behind by the senior Nicholas, who loses it to Palermo. Spin move. He got it over Ozier. Well, Palermo, that was recovering that. It looked like he was about to fall down and regained his balance. He just kept control and finished it. Nicholas just couldn't get a handle on it. He had it and then just couldn't corral it. This is going to be a tough, grinded-out style of a game. Phillips triggers the three. A little bit short. Rebound pulled down by Coupette. Fade up by White. That one goes. Nice little kiss off the window. And Keith Richard, the head coach for ULM, wants to take a timeout as Little Rock on a 6 0 run. They've hit their last four shots, Coach Vine. You know, Phillips and Howe may have issues. They lost a couple of players uh, late in the season. And. Uh, but the men's guard was a leading scorer, and uh, they're just having to make it up. And they they had done it, and uh, they're just on this losing streak right now. But they're trying to get back on the win column today. They're really working at it. And off there, Langston Powell, five minutes yesterday, his second game. Swinging around, Morenci passes up the three. The jumper was a little bit long. Rebound by Coupette on a 6-0 run right now, Little Rock. A little momentum on their side right now. Green from Basovic. Manyang in the corner. Palermo. Good defense. <laughs> Palermo somehow. Over two defenders. There wasn't anything they could do about that. Luke Phillips was all up in his face. He just, he just got it over him. Palermo from Kissimmee, Florida. Well, he's defending uh, Ozier out there. Hmm. Ozier couldn't get that to go. Kind of lazy that time. Little on going for that board. Harrison almost ran it down. Pull up three by Coupette. It was a heat check three, maybe a little bit too trigger happy. They're an eight nothing run. Got a hand on that pass. They got a, that's it's long, long arms. It's, it's difficult to throw one up over it. On the media timeout, the next whistle. Could come at a good time for ULM. Ozier, corner three, Morinci. Good. They did a good job of, of taking it to the to the basket. You know, Gonzalez had Basevich on him, the big postman, and he just was, got around him with ease. And then so the others had to drop in to help, and uh, he got the ball to him. Walker answers on the other end to give Little Rock back a three-point lead. 28-25. Really had so much production from their guards, Coupette and White. Back Marich, Manyong, and Lukic. As they battle in backcourt, <laughs> somehow Ozier gets it. Morenci with a nice reverse layup. He did a great job of getting to the basket and finishing that. 
you know, he was concerned about him coming behind him, so he went under the basket and used it uh, to guard his shot. It's a good pass over and a three on the way out the back iron that time. Mike Coupet, I mentioned it earlier, Marich, Manyang, and Lukic had 54 of their 66 points yesterday. And some contributions from other guys so far today. Yeah, Ozier bounce pass for Howell. And he had it knocked away. That, <laughs> it's pretty I guess, physical. was clean. Yeah, that was pretty physical there. They, they were really on uh, Ozier that time. White came out of nowhere and blocked that shot. Coupet. Manyang. Stays outside a lot. Basovic worked down low against Howell. Kicks it out. White. Corner for Palermo. Shot clock at five. Gives it back to Palermo, who's fouled from behind by Powell. And Little Rock will have some free throws when we come back. Palermo and Ozier. Do a little dance. We've hung a lot. We've You've taken some down, too, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, we've had, a, yeah, we've yeah. had a chance to take a couple. Which Mike Vining took his teams to six NCAA tournaments. Free throw good. There's Daryl Walker. He was an assistant coach in the NBA. For the Hornets, Pistons, Knicks, Raptors. He's the only coach in Division One basketball that has coached a Division II team, Division One team, and been a coach in the NBA and WNBA. He was an assistant for the Washington Mystics as well. That's a, that's a lot of coaching and a lot of different experiences. He's a good guy, too. Russell Harrison spins around Manyong. And his next block, by the way, will be his 100th on the season. Just his presence. It's difficult. Harrison tried to go under the basket to let it protect the shot, but he just he needed about another six inches to get over there far enough. That was a travel then. Three second violation called down low on at Marich, who checks back into the ball game. We'll look at Daryl Walker. All American in Arkansas played for Eddie Sutton. 12th overall pick by the New York Knickerbockers. Team still shooting well. Phillips winds up for three. That one a little bit too strong. You know, Phillips, Phillips feels very comfortable taking that. And, you know, Coach Richard was talking about how hard he's worked since he's been here working on his overall game. Lukic dumps it off for Marich. A little bit too strong on that jumper. Ozier comes down with it. ULM has numbers three on two. Gonzalez, step back three. No good. They battle for that rebound, but it's Went down by Coupette. Alongside Mike Vining, former ULM men's coach, I'm Chris Harris. Our entire ESPN crew doing double duty today. Glad to have you with us here in Monroe, Louisiana. Foul away from the ball. Langston Powell went down. I think he's going to be called for the foul going up against Coupette. You know, ULM's on a little bit of a score drive. They're down three right now, but they're only two of their Little Rock basketball. As we have 4.16 to play in this first half. I was I was trying to see from that replay what what Powell did. Yeah. Almost on the other side possibly. He got tangled up. There's a loose ball foul going to be called against Little Rock. And that'll be on Luke Keach, Marco, the six-seven sophomore, his first. Well, we're getting a few fouls all of a sudden here. These games were scheduled to be played Friday, Saturday. The winter weather, they got a lot more up in Little Rock. They had over 20 inches of ice and snow. Oh, their SID came over and showed me a picture of his bird bath and had literally about 20 inches on top of it. You know, Three about, you know, people couldn't even get to the, to the uh, arena. The coaches couldn't even get to the arena. They didn't practice except barely on Thursday and Friday. Well, Polaro was trying to, trying to post up Ozier. Picks it back out. Lukic for three. Right down the middle. Lukic has that sweet shot. He had three of those yesterday. He's on the season a 33% uh, three-point shooter. Well, ULM hadn't scored in a little over three minutes now. They really need a bucket right now. They don't need to let this run uh, go so long. ULM's two of their last 12 after a really hot shooting start. They're down to 42%. Ozier... Tries to get out to Harrison. That'll go back court. It was tipped. Shot clock down to seven. Harrison looks down low. 
Al had it poked away out of bounds. Let me see, last touch by ULM. It was interesting. You know, I, I thought he was going up to shoot it, and then I don't know really what happened with it. When he went up, it just come out of his hand. Goodness. I still don't know what happened to it. It just went flying yeah. out of his hand. I don't know if he, if he lost it or, or they hit it. The Rock's largest lead now is six. Munyang looking down low, trying to get the Maurice. He wasn't ready for the pass. Harrison comes away. Fast break opportunity. In the open floor, Nicholas lays it in. He's it. thrived on these last last night. That was a great pass ahead. You know, he saw the court and got it to him, and, you know, they finished. And they needed that big time. Josh Nicholas in double figures with 10 points. Another steal. This time by Morinci. Pass ahead for Nicholas. Make it a dozen for the senior. What well, Nicholas, he's running the floor and they're getting the ball to him. He just outran everybody. Yesterday, ULM 18 to 4. Fast break points. Now, I think Nicholas anticipated that. He saw the, the uh, ULM go after the pass and he just took off with it. Also, yesterday, ULM turned 17 turnovers into 23 points. Manyang. A little bit short, and last touch they say by Harrison. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Luke Keach was. The, I think was, so. Luke Keach was the only one around it from here, because he's standing right there. You know the crew chief's Don Daly, so he's been doing this a long time, and he's right there. Wow, that was uh, seemed to be a break, big break there for Little Rock. Gonzalez, good hands, and knocked that ball away from Luke Keach. You know, Gonzalez give, gives up a lot of, of height, you know, from 6 7 to 5 11. White has it. Transfer from SMU coming back home. A native of Little Rock, Man Young. Right handed hook. That was too strong. He battles for it. Those long arms, but it's poked away, and Gonzalez comes up with it. You know, Man Young's not able to, to just push you under the basket. And rhythm three there by Harrison off the mark. You'll take that look. Yeah, that's Harrison's shot. I mean, they, they run offense to get him that shot. He just didn't go for him. Reed swings it out to Coupette. Makes a difficult two and hits it. Scoreless yesterday, but Coupette has now five points today on two of five shooting. You know, Coach Richard calling him what he wants him to run. Al comes out to get it. He's setting it down screen, trying to get him come up to the top of the key. Gonzalez runs around everybody. Tried to thread the needle to Josh Nicholas, but it was poked out by Marich there. Yeah, Nicholas was open. He was spotted up, but uh, they just did a good job of getting a hand on him. They got 10 seconds on the shot clock. A minute two remaining in this first half. Bounce pass down low. Harrison way underneath the bucket. Got it to Marinci. Now Nicholas will shoot it. Bottom. Nicholas continues to have a big game on senior night. He has 15. Yeah, that was Nicholas. His three for three from three point range. Coupet missed that one. The yeah, Coupet was going after it, but his just didn't go for it. Chance to take the lead on this possession. Got about an eight second differential shot clock and game clock here. This is Gonzalez's offense. His ninth consecutive start. You know, it makes it tough when you wait to that last, that last second. But you know, White, see, he's trying to get a hand on it and knock him loose from it. Three to shoot. Nicholas in the corner. Has to hurry. Wow. <laughs> oh the way his day's going, I was <laughs> expecting that one to go down, too. You almost expected it to. Two seconds. And they're not going to get a shot at the buzzer. Long shot. A little bit short. That was online. But what a fun first half of play. One point game here at the half, and both teams have some things to be pretty proud of in that first half. Yeah. Texas State has been the, the big surprise story of this of this season. They they have. You know, I don't I think they were picked like maybe second or third, but they uh, <laughs> they're playing well. And they do it with defense because they gotta have offense to, to score, but they really, really defend you. Nicholas, those 15 first half points. Now to Harrison, who has two fouls, spent a lot of time on the bench. Effort Tui, also back in the game, kind of was a bit gimpy in that first half, favoring that right leg. But a steal to start the second half for Little Rock. 
you know, they say, no, it's not a good pass if they don't catch it. But th that was a good idea. He was open. They, end up, they just cleared him out. Lukic just shoved uh, Nicholas Manyang. off. Manyang curled Effort Tui. I heard a slap. And the foul will be on Effort Tui. That's Manyang his. came around. Ooh. Yep. Yep. You can hear that clearly over here. That's the first foul on Effort Tui. Manyang. Marichu had a quiet scoring first half, traveled. Yeah. <laughs> he traveled after he threw that elbow. Yeah, he's a, it's amazing how he, how he goes through there. Second possession for ULM. Finished that first half shooting 45% from the floor. Three from Ozier, it's blocked by White. Now a three from Harrison. No good. And Maurice with that one hand kept it alive, and here comes Coupette. Well, you know, Harrison gets that shot, and you just expect it to go. He just hadn't been able to, to get that three to go for him today. Maurice, spin move on effort Tui. Yeah, taking an extra step. Manyang, the rebound, and a hammer put down for the big man from Nashville. Yeah, got that high percentage shot, too. It was one for six before that dunk. Three rebounds in that first half, 13 double doubles. A long way to go to get the double double today. Gonzalez gives off for Ozier. Back to Harrison. Oh, he just slipped. You know, Harrison, he, he pat. He's not as physical as as the rest of them, so that uh, they knocked him loose. Missed opportunity there, went through the hands of Lukic. Now Marich on this side alters the shot of Nicholas, and we got a ragtag start to the second half. Nice step in, Euro step by Coupette, and it's a 39-34 game, five-point advantage for Little Rock. Yeah, ULM just got to got, 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 got got yeah. regroup, you got to regroup, and, you know, they just, it's like they're challenging them. They don't need to challenge them, just take what you got and, and, and knock down a couple of shots. Poked away from behind, that was all Manyong. He will be credited with that steal. Mob down low to him, gives for Morich, and an offensive foul will be called as Harrison steps in to take that charge. And for Morich, that'll be his third personal foul. He's a talented, talented big man at 6'10". He goes and makes contact and then spins, and that time he, looked, he, he made a little bit too much contact. Harrison got to his spot early and was able to... Yeah, look at the size difference here, They're guarding the ball at the point. And for Tui. Brown set a screen for Ozier. Gonzalez, Harrison, pump fakes, takes a long two. Short. Rebound coming down to Coupette. Yeah, he just all of his shots is just, it's just right there. Just hadn't been able to go. He's, he's getting the ones that he really wants. Now each base is up that time. And for Tui, pokes it away. Three on one for ULM. Ozier lays it in. It's a team that really in the open floor succeeded yesterday and they want to win this game they're gonna have to do that again today well gonzalez come down and, and saw the floor and did a good job of delivering the ball these great fast break points they won it 18 to 4. one of guys who are quick in that open floor on young gives it off for lukic into the corner marich for three not the mark. Boy, Manyang somehow <laughs> grabbed that rebound he over just, Harrison. Just went up over him and got it. And Effort Tui. And we call for the foul against Coupette, his second. That's a tough foul. Yes, it's the second one there. And then that far away from the basket. Hand slap over there. 39 36, Little Rock by three. This is going to be a, an interesting stretch here. We're going to watch the physicality as a foul going to be called underneath against Josh Nicholas. Battling it out with uh, Lukic shit down low, Marco. Lukic was trying to get loose to get a shot, and uh, they, they, they set some mean screens when they when they break off of it. Woodrock wants a physical game. Manyang double teamed. And 6'10 against 6'7. Harrison holding his own. Gives it to the cutting Lukic who finishes. 
Good patience by Mon Young. You know, Nicholas left Lukic and went to try to double the ball, and Lukic just went to the basket and was able to get it to him. Step back from Ozier's off the mark. Maybe that one forced a bit. Mon Young, it's just hard to steal a basketball away from him. It, it, it is. But you know, they get to, they're going to look for a, a three that they can step into instead of step back, especially when they've gone this uh, little spell here without getting the basket. Mon Young's up to seven rebounds now, and Busevich with a 16-17 footer. Lead to seven now for Little Rock. It's hard for, for uh, Efratui to come out that far to defend, and uh, he can obviously hit that shot. Forcing some threes the last two possessions. ULM pass ahead. Lukic somehow was able to corral it. And a timeout will be called by ULM. It'll turn into our first media timeout. Little Rock with their biggest lead now. It's up to nine. But Marquise just did a great job.
Coach Vining giving them some tips during some of the breaks. Been working with them. Been working with them. Had a lot of time to spend with them during this cold spell. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on. Here's steal there by Gonzalez. Yeah, he does get his third steal. He was looking for his first bucket. And he gets it right there. It is down to four. Well, he picked a good time to come up with it. This game really hasn't had much of a rhythm in the second half. White transfer from SMU. Pulls up. And a whistle and a foul. And it's going to be called on Gonzalez. I guess he hit him. It was tough to see yeah, from this yeah, angle. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see it, but there was a little hitch in his shot. So, uh, you know, Gonzalez is always slapping at the ball. And he gets his hand on a lot of balls. He, he knocks them loose. As he just come up with this steal over here, he's going, he's going to be involved. He swiped that left arm. First free throw. No good from White. See Ben Coupet waiting at the scorer's table. Probably come get White. White from Little Rock, Parkview High School. Two seasons at SMU. Played 53 games for some good Tim Jankovic SMU teams. You know, he had seven yesterday, and he's got seven so far today with 11 minutes left. He has eight points after that free throw, and Ben Coupet, the Chicago native, will come in for him. Well, Chicago Simeons produced some Talented ball players over the years. <laughs> they have, you know, there's a lot of places, and it, and it's kind of get that uh, reputation of, and it's where all the kids in that area want to go. Oh yeah, they got there that trap goes. in there. That's a big trap. Luckily, they got it out of it. NC into the corner. Phillips, <laughs> he gets two in the air. For how slams it down. That was good ball movement. Very, very, very good ball movement. It was a nine-point lead, now down to three as we approach the halfway mark of this second half. I'm going to reach back in the ball game. Going to give off for uh, Lukic. Manyang on the baseline. He hasn't really come out of the game. Lukic for three. Reach and just <laughs> knock oh, Gonzalez just, out of the way. And now on the he floor. Just, he just went up over everybody. And it's like if his hand didn't hit him, it wasn't a foul. Man, he just... The second foul, 17th foul. <laughs> that's his... <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's riding bareback. He didn't even need a saddle. Tell you what, Nicola Marich is always a guy that the, the visiting fans hate, <laughs> you know, yeah. when he goes into their place. It's always going to be some contact, and he usually initiates it. And, you know, he left upset when he had a foul called on him. The coach took him out. Luke Young missed that free throw, the front end. They're in the bonus now. As. Well, I can't convert. Yeah, Nicholas shooting a little quicker than he was earlier, and it just hadn't been able to get it to go. That would have been a travel. <laughs> Maybe he got rid of the ball before he slid. Tell you what, that was impressive. It to was. To get that ball to Marich. You're falling backwards and uh, still pass the ball. Mon Young. Back outside to Coupet. Sends it right back down to him. Both teams shooting around that 40% mark. Pulermo for three, an air ball. Mon Young backside puts it in. Mon Young with rebound number eight. He has six points. You know, Hal tried to take that charge and was hadn't got back up yet. So that shot, uh, he's still on the floor in the process of getting up. Mon Young just was able to catch a rebound and put it back in. I see nothing there. Thomas Howell. There's a sweet jumper from that 15 foot mark or so. Shot clock's down to six. Gonzalez gets around his man, floater. I thought it might be a lob to Howell. I did but too. It would been better off if it had been because he was there looking for it. I don't know if it was intended to be a shot or not, but Little Rock by five with the ball. Palermo is fouled on the drive. And we'll have a one and one now for Isaiah Palermo, the 6'5 sophomore. You know, Josh Nicholas picked up his second one. And the fans, everybody, uh, pointing out to uh, Don Daly and his uh, crew that the fouls are 8-2. to two. They're, they're reminding them. Everybody's aware of it. 
Palermo misses. What do they say? Ball don't lie sometimes. That's, right. <laughs> that, that's what they say. Nonetheless, that's a couple of front end of a one and one that Little Rock has missed. It's almost like a turnover. You know, you're them down on two minute scoring drought right now. You know, fortunately, you know, Little Rock is only one of their last eight. Three in the corner. This would be huge for ULM. Well, short, though, from Morinci. Really tough right now to see what ULM's doing offensively. Morinci almost come up with a steal. Palermo drives and travels. Should have been a travel. Smacks the pad on that uh, goal standard. Hey, what? What a self harm from these Little Rock guys. And take care of your body. Roger Gonzalez, only two points, but he does have six rebounds and four assists. <laughs> He's carded by Manyang. <laughs> That's it. That, that is it. I'll see if they take advantage of this matchup. Nifty pass to Marinci, who's fouled going up. That was a great pass by Harrison. <laughs> it, you know, the big thing about that was Marinci catching the ball. 7.46 to go in the ball game. He had a very lively huddle during that timeout. Well, I think he had a lot to say. You know, they, they have not really, they hadn't played smart basketball offensively. They've hustled, they've played hard, but uh, I think some of the cuts, some of the shots that they've taken, I, I think could have been a little bit better playing. Now he does have uh, Ozier and uh, Gonzalez back in the game together now. Marinci has 15 points as the gym goes silent and he makes both. So 16 now for Marco Marinci. You know, ULM was shooting 50% at the half uh, from, from three point range. Right now they're shooting 31% and only 37 from, from the field. Good look that time. Monyong on the baseline somehow slithers through. Shot no good. Put back by Maurice. And he yelled something. Monyong a little bit gimpy as well. But they might have uh, see Maurice. I don't know what <laughs> Daryl Walker's or Coach Walker's getting on to the official about something, but. Maurice sort of yelled in a direction of a UL employer. Yes, I don't he know did. If that was yeah, a foul. yeah, almost in his face. And you know, usually they'll they'll tee him up for that. Of course, you know we saw we saw Hal push a guy earlier, and mm -hmm. they just they just kind of waved it off inside oh, the Hal. Gonzalez, good three-point shooter, hits it. Five points for Gonzalez. He's second in the conference now in three-point shooting, near 50%. You know, we just said earlier, was there, uh, 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 Gonzalez hadn't scored, and then he just stepped up and hit that three. The line starting to look pretty good. Five points, four rebounds. Well, he just all over, uh, right over there, just slapping at the ball. And here's, this will be another interesting contest right here. Here we go. My reach against Howell. Left-handed hook in and out. Manyang bats it out. Coupette gets it. Might have gotten away with a travel there. A whistle and a travel is called. So yeah, Don, Don Daly yeah. away from the play calls the travel. Yeah, the other fish was right on top of it. He, you know, probably couldn't see the everything, but Don Daly, you know, he's a very veteran official. He's called some big ball games for a long, long time. He's been here so long, he was calling when I was coaching. <laughs> that was a long time ago. It was. That was pre-shot clock. <laughs> Harrison for three, and ULM is back on top for the first time in the second half. That's Harrison's first three, and only his second basket. Momentum on the side of the Warhawks, who won yesterday by 12 over these Little Rock Trojans. 6-0 run. Manyang, and away from the ball, a foul on Ben Coupette. Daryl Walker really upset on the sideline. Well, Stupet just come running through there. He just kind of cleared his path. That was the fourth foul on Nicola Marit. So he'll have to be careful, especially the way he backs players down on that offensive end. Marit six points after a season high 24 yesterday. A frustrating game for the big man. Harrison in the post. Double team comes. 
Extra pass, Gonzalez. Yes! That's what they were looking for. Gonzalez with eight. And he's now two of three from three. And this run continues now a nine-nothing run for the Warhawks. You know, Harrison, to get that ball out of there, he, he went awful deep. And they were all over him. To get it out of there was great. And they just took that extra pass. And Gonzalez did what he does. Surge here. Long two, way off the mark. Long. Magnon tries to save it and cannot. ULM will get it back. Little Rock has missed now two of their last 12 shots. Well, Magnon just. It's right in the face of Ray Tucker, the uh, voice of the Little Rock Trojans <laughs> yeah. over there. It'll be interesting. ULM's got a lot more movement right now, so they're they're looking more lively. Great pass inside. Great. Just wasn't able to get it to go, but that was super. Right there for the rebound, Ben Coupet. It's a little four-point game. Inside of five minutes to go. You know, this game means a lot to both teams right now. Manyang will take it himself. Count it and the foul for the big man. Manyang usually tries to avoid uh, contact, but he carried it in there then to Thomas Howe. He has six points on three of 11 shooting, or rather eight points now on four of 12 shooting, eight rebounds. He's in range for another double-double, which would be his 14th. That would tie for the nation's lead. Missed his first free throw attempt. Makes now in a one-point game. Here comes the pressure. Yeah, that's tough to get that ball in the corner. But that's Easily. a good one there. How another dunk. That's a high percentage shot there. You know, yesterday, early, it was really upsetting ULM, but they got to where they were beating that press pretty easily, got a lot of open looks. Well, they sold out for that trap in the corner, and once you get it out, I mean, you, you, you've got to get a hand on it if you go in there like that. And he's going to back him all the way under there and push him off again. Yeah. But Howe was wanting to call. I don't know if you're Howe. I was expecting maybe him to take a take a fall there. As Maurice now with eight points. You know, Hal's been taking that elbow for two days now, so he, he's probably getting a little tired of it. Gonzalez has it. ULM by one. Ozier guarded by Lukic. Corner three now. It's good. Russell Harrison now has eight. Boy, he picked the time to step it up, didn't he? ULM's three-point percentage back up over 40% now. It's 44. They've hit 10 of 23. And it's steal attempt by Ozier. He commits the foul. And after the break, it'll be for Little Rock, Nicola, or there, excuse me, Marco. The year last year in the conference, and uh, they're right here trying to pull this one out. Bonus, double bonus now for Little Rock. Lukic, two of two at the line so far today. Marco's first is good. Belgrade, Serbian native. It is amateur ball in Kazakhstan. wonder if he remembers uh, the 93 Bulls. He wasn't alive. <laughs> 93 <laughs> Bulls. Their parents knows about it. But yet he's played a lot of a lot of basketball over the years. Two yeah. point game after those uh, made free throws. You know, every possession, you know, kind of almost doubles in value right now. It's the one everybody remembers. Ozier tries to save it on the sideline and an unforced turnover. Is it back to Little Rock a, a chance to tie or take the lead? Well, I think Lukic was right up in his in his face. And maybe got a hand on that, but he just wasn't able to save it. You know, the defense is going to be there. They're going to be after him. Both teams is going to be stepping it up. Off the screen, Lukic. Ozier closed out. Takes it to the rim. Can't finish. Manyang lost it out of bounds. It was last touched by the Warhawks by Morency. Well, Manyang could just go up and get it out, out of the whole crowd. He comes down with it. But like I said, he's not as physical as those other guys. So he doesn't, he's not able to push him out of his way and go back up with it. And a foul away from the ball. I think they're going to get Ozier. You could tell Don Daly was kind of waiting, but he kept hanging on. And Ozier is whistled for the foul. And we'll send C.J. White, 6'5", junior from Little Rock. Or no, excuse me, that'll be... Uh, Back again, Luke Keats. This is not who you want on the line for ULM, an 80% plus free throw shooter. Yeah, the guy that just hit two in a row. 
So it's a one-point game now. I'm feeling this game would be tight pretty much for the entirety. Luke Keach one more time. And he is a perfect six for six at the free throw line. 17 points for the 6'7 sophomore. Well, here's what's left for you. Being out of it to try to get people to come. I know as, as many people as they can come. They've been to various places. I think this is the first year they've been to Pensacola. So they're picking up full court pressure now. They're going to try to maybe get a turnover in the backcourt. He's, he's, always, he's yeah. bodying them all the way down the floor. White was just putting a body on him. Dallas looking down low. Harrison against Manyang. Tough matchup. And he still wraps <laughs> it around the big man. But that was a tough shot. You, know, you got, got to get away from him, around him, and then get it up under there. Ten points for Harrison. You know, two and a half minutes, and that gives ULM a two-point lead. C.J. White gives it up for Ben Coupette. Manyang isolated against Harrison on this end. Yeah, they were looking inside again. Luke Keach knocks down the three, falling down. And Little Rock goes up by one. You know, Keach went down, and he was, he was wanting to get another free throw. Gonzalez is watching for him. They're trying to get somebody to come off of a screen. It's kind of a, a pick to picker. You set a screen, you get a screen. Harrison is fouled on the floor by Root Maniang. That's his third. Well, it seems like both teams have sort of gotten back into the flow of their offenses. Yeah, they have. They're going back. So there he goes. Uh, see him. I think he was a little push, and then I think Harrison kind of bumped him after the call. The team should do kumbaya after the game. Yeah, they're they're trying to body up and physical. Uh, Harrison, floater off the mark, a foul. Underneath, they're going to get Howell, I think, oh, with that foul. <laughs> I think they tipped the ball out. And that'll mean if free throws on the other end. It'll be interesting to see. I don't know what. Uh, That's Thomas Howell there at the bottom of your screen. Oof. Didn't really see much uh, contact, if know. any. It's a tough foul against Howell. You might need to step up here for two. Nine points, nine rebounds. And this is the first. That's big for ULM. He's now one for three at the line on the season. Mon Young, only a 60% free throw shooter. Phillips will check in for Howell. The foul on Howell was his fourth. You know, Howell had been very physical in there. Missed them both. Battle for the rebound. Manyang, of Man, course. Come up with it. Comes up with it. <laughs> he just he went down and got it. That's his 10th rebound. Gets it at the free throw line. Dumped down from a reach. Great pass. He can't hit the body. Rebound Harrison. Well, Harrison had to go up physically to get that one. Goes to the rim mm -hmm. and he's fouled by Manyang. That's the fourth on Manyang. And Harrison a chance to give ULM back the lead. What a change in uh, momentum there. You know, Harrison thought he had that one. He thought he was going to be able to get in there. I don't know if he just wanted to talk to Hal or not, or he's going to put him back in for somebody, but he's he's, he's reported in to, to check back in the game. Harrison has had a big second half. Ten points now. And an 80% free throw shooter. He misses the first. Just rimmed out for him. You know, that's the one you wanted to gain. Harrison came in averaging right at 14 points a game. It was 11th in the conference coming in. <laughs> it climbed. It, it climbed over there. Friendly uh, home arena bounce yep. at that time. We're tied. Yep. Minute and 20 seconds. We should have just started here <laughs> at 4 o'clock. <laughs> what was the first 39 minutes for? Yeah, we could have saved a lot of time. Marich guarded by Howe. Both have four fouls. You know, usually if, if those two are involved with the ball, there's going to be some contact. Manyang looking down low. Free throw line jumper. Oh, way off the mark that time. And a foul on Manyang. That That's his fifth. He almost banked that in. Well, so Gonzalez goes staggering back. I, I missed what happened. Shot by 
Oh, Mike yeah. was way he, out the he, mark. Yeah, he tried to slap at the bottom. <laughs> Come on, Young. Upset on the sideline. Boy, he plays hard, though. He does, and he's, he goes after every single rebound. He'll just miss his 14th double-double. Nine points, 10 rebounds yeah, for Mon yeah, He got his 10 rebounds, though. And checking in, Isaiah Palermo. Big free throws for Marco Marinci. He's had a big game, 16 points. Makes the first, he'll have the bonus. Seventh team foul against Little Rock, so we'll have one and one. And those big free throws, because everything's big right now in the last minute. ULM by two. So now they're going to be they're going to be fighting for the boards now on anything that's taken. Coupet yep. thought about it. You got Marich down yeah, low. Yeah, Marich, he's, he's wanting it. He's trying to get it. Yeah, he, he's asking for it. Harrison's ready to drop down and double team. They kick it back out. Lukic, seven on the shot clock. White for three, off the mark. Cow comes in for a big rebound. Man, that was big and him getting rid of it as he knew he was going down on the floor. That was big. That was the first rebound for Thomas Howe. Yeah, about four seconds difference in the shot clock. They're going to run this down. You see the 13 rebound advantage and a foul against Gonzalez, who is money down the stretch at the free throw line, or has been. We'll go to the line with 17.5 to go. ULM looking for their second conference sweep. They swept Arkansas State here January 1st and 2nd. Gonzalez, a 90% free throw shooter. You know, they're just a couple of buckets and a clock running. You know, it was Gonzalez who had six of seven free throws in the final 38 seconds of their win down in Lafayette. You know, that's his first free throw. January. Both teams have one timeout remaining. Well, they're bringing it in. ULM's bringing it in. So yeah, they got to get it into a shooter. They got to get it into a shooter. There he is. And they're going to foul him. And that's the guy you want with it, Elijah Gonzalez. Four and double figures for ULM. One and one now for Gonzalez. He has 10. Marinci has 18. Harrison has 11. Then we were back in the first half. Josh Nicholas kind of kept him in the game. He has 15. You know, he can seal this right here. Coach Richard telling his team not to foul. Yeah, keep, keep the ball in front. Make them use a little bit of time getting the ball down the floor. And then, you know, White's pushing them down to get on back down the floor so we can throw a long pass. Ooh, didn't go. Keep it in front. Just keep Still it in front. Don't foul. Let him shoot it. Let him make a layup. Not going to count. And ULM gets a sweep over Little Rock. Won't we'll count at the end. But this team could have gone in many different directions with that rough start. But here they are. They won three out of four. ULM.